Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing some really cool sites to explore for inspiration for graphic designers, designers in general, and I've been enjoying them for a little bit, so I want to share them with you. So uh, let's just let's just hop into it. Alright, so the first site is known as Save It, where Communal Wise is known as the Pinterest for designers, and I'd probably agree. Save It has a super clean UI and usability that honestly works for anyone, from either giving space for easier readability on each design or zooming in or out for more or less reference material at one point. One thing I noted pretty quickly as an avid Pinterest user, for the record, sesamehq.com slash inspiration to find out what I'm talking about, is that actually Save It had a bit of a more focus on really dope typography and photography that I find it actually a bit harder sometimes to find on Pinterest. I think it's actually pretty awesome and well worth the account creation. Next is Shape Factory where this site has genuinely three usable features that revolve around color pigment gradient and dual tone colors in specific one that i found pretty useful for color inspo is pigment where you can actually see a bunch of amazing color combinations while also being able to adjust the lightness and the saturation pigment for what you're looking for then don't also forget to click on the paint loader button or whatever the heck you call that thing to change the background color to make it the main focus of the color scheme honestly it's been a pretty big blessing for me in the recent weeks as i'm currently exploring colors worth a visit and bookmark for sure and also you can just actually click on the hex codes on either extension of the site to quickly copy and paste i mean i don't know about you but i appreciate that following shape factory is font joy a really awesome site that actually generates font pairings with free fonts easily downloadable from google fonts if you actually enjoy a font while you're actually generating you want to lock it there's an option for that too where you can of course continue scrolling and generating for other options that may fit better than the previous Additionally, if you actually click on the triple lines, it'll show fonts from most similar to least, which is actually pretty cool to me because you of course generate new ideas or actually just find the one you like the most. So if you're someone in the world of building brand identity and you need help deciding on how your font should work together, I think FontJoy is actually a pretty great place to take a little pit stop. Now, the last site for this video is known as Chroma where what actually interested me in trying this site was the fact that it had an AI training program where upon loading the site, you're asked to choose 50 colors that you like the most while scrolling. Later, getting a generating loading screen, and at the end, it'll display colors based on what you guys chose as your favorites. Now, I've actually done this for fun a few times, and I would genuinely say more than not, I get colors I really enjoy trying. Whether they actually work for a design is another question, but if you're looking for color inspo for your own references only, this site is actually pretty cool. So if I did not, of course, mention in this video here today, I'm curious of what you have been using for your own kind of like inspiration or creative block or just kind of to help you out basically as a graphic designer or designer in general. But yeah, with that being said, set some HQ out. You're gonna get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, enjoy your week.